Welcome to Second Edition Wargaming. I'm Rob. This is Steve. Hi. Yep. And today we're going to have our first 40k battle report. Okay, so welcome to our first battle report. Uh, this is going to be Orcs versus Space Marines. Uh, Steve's playing the Space Marines. Um, we've just laid out the deployment zones on the uh, board, uh, which you'll be able to see from our overhead shot uh, a little bit later. We've used the white dice to mark out the square, which um, denotes the deployment zone. So along here, well, all the way to the end down here. So you're looking 12 inches in from the edge, 12 inches up from the uh, this table edge here. And Steve's done the same yep. his side. Okay, now because I'm Orcs, my strategy rating is three. Um, Steve's Space Marines, which straight rain of? Five. Five, so that means I'll have to deploy my forces first, but then we'll get to roll and add our strategy reins to see who gets the first turn. Okay, so Orcs have deployed because they had the lowest strategy rating of three. Uh, my mission card, which is normally selected randomly, but for this game we've chosen them, taken hold for the Orcs. So that red marker there is the spot they must be in control of uh, by the end of the game. Uh, victory, Exact victory conditions are on the card. I'll, I'll flash them up. Um, let's go through the forces. All within the deployment zone, we've got two Scorchers here, uh, a Weird Boy, so just a level two Psyker. Um, 20 Scar Boys led by a knob, um, the sort of army battle standard, battle banner, so everyone can re-roll their leadership tests. And then we've got three Dreadnoughts, uh, not in a squadron, um, just independent next to each other. Uh, 20 more Gretchen at the front, uh, Mechaniac there with uh, Mechaniac's tools, hopefully to repair any damage to the Dreadnoughts. We've got the army commander here, the sort of war boss, Pain Boy next to him. Uh, eight knobs in a knob mob, uh, 20 Gretchen again there with blunderbusses. Uh, so I think that pretty much sums it up. That's my deployment. Um, what we'll do now is go over to Steve and he'll deploy his Space Marines. I forgot to mention uh, the dreaded strategy cards here. There's one card per thousand points or part thereof. Uh, we're supposed to um, dish them out before deployment, but uh, we'll just roll with it now. Uh, so that's two strategy cards each, and Steve's gonna deal them out. No problem. And quick shuffle, and then one for you, one for me, one for you, one for me. Okay, so Steve's deployed the old Space Marines. Uh, what's your mission card, Steve, and uh, what's your forces, please? Cool, so I've got the Assassin mission. So my mission is to uh, kill the Commander-in-Chief, the Orc War Boss. This uh, fellow here. And if failing to do that, wounding him will still get me victory points. Nice. Um, so not much, the Space Marines <laughs> often are. No. Um, so I've got one squad of veterans that I've combat squatted up. Uh, they have a heavy bolter and they have a plasma gun. Um, behind them I have a, a row, oh, actually I'll start here. Uh, I have a dreadnought with an auto cannon and a power fist and heavy, uh, uh, Is it assault cannon or a cannon? Oh, assault so, uh, cannon, cannon. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, it's his second. Yeah, it's his second, <laughs> it's, it's the closest. Like, um, behind him is a tech marine. 
who has a servo arm. Yeah, sorry, just there. Uh, he has a servo arm, a combi bolter plasma, and a bionic eye. Uh, here we have a chaplain, uh, sorry, not a chaplain, an apothecary with a power sword, a medipack, and a refractor field. Got a second level librarian. Yep. Uh, he has a psychic hood and a force rod. Uh, a chaplain with uh, digi lasers, but otherwise just his normal kit. That is, yeah. And then I have a captain with a power axe, jump pack, a diff, the better field, not a fracture. The dis displacer field. Yeah, displacer field and a master crafted uh, plasma pistol. Nice. So um, quite character heavy, but most of them are low level characters. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Um, captain. I also have some infiltrators. Oh yeah. Which, now um, in second edition, infiltrators are placed on the board uh, and they can be in hiding if they're in cover. Uh, but the way we kind of play it as a house rule is we, we just mark it on a piece of paper in secret so that I don't know where his infiltrators are. It adds a, uh, another element of fun to the game. So you've got what, a squad of five scouts? Yeah, five scouts uh, with all with uh, needle sniper rifles. Oh crikey. Okay. Um, and the other thing I have is a squad of assault marines with chain swords, jump packs, and one power sword. But they have been delayed by Rob's strategy, strategy card. card. Yeah, those strategy cards we dished out earlier, one of mine is delayed, and I can play that on any uh, vehicle or squad of, um, of Steve's. And it just means it arrives during the opposing player's first movement phase uh, and must move on from the table edge. Um, starting at a point inside the enemy's deployment zone, so it's not actually too bad. No, I mean that's your first, that's your first movement phase. That says so. If I go second, it won't matter. No, no, no pretty much. So okay, not too bad. Um, I was going to play on the dreadnought, but we want to see him meet up with these three orc dreadnoughts in the centre. Yeah. All right. Anything else, Steve? Uh, no, that's it. Uh, I'm sorry. The mission was assassin. Well, mission assassin. Yeah. The master of the war boss. boss. Right. Okay. Okay. So rather than just show you all the movement, we'll get the troops moved, and then I'll talk you through what I've done. Okay. Because everyone ran. Uh, except for the Dreadnoughts, it's going to be a pretty quick shooting phase for me. Um, obviously, 40k uh, targeting, uh, the second edition targeting rules, you can ignore infantry for vehicles. So the three Dreadnoughts here are going to fire at the Dreadnought over there uh, without minuses. So that's three shots. Oh, okay, so the three all Dreadnoughts, um, weapon skill four is three plus to hit, no targeters. So three plus against the Space Marine Dreadnought. Oh, yeah. two hits, yeah. take yeah. that. Okay, so we've got the Space Marine data facts there. Uh, go for locations on the other side, mate. Uh, yeah, so... Let's give it a go, the two locations, five and a three. Uh, three is a right arm, the five is a body. Okay, lovely. Right, what's the uh, armor penetration of a Lazcan? It's 3d6 plus nine. So, yeah, it's about the best armor penetration yeah, you get. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, right arm first. Right arm first. You need a 19. Easy. Not a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, here we go. Right, let's roll on the damage chart for arm. Two. Two. Uh, all weapons mounted on the armor jammed or partially damaged and only can be used if you roll first roll of four plus. Oh, so four plus to use that arm basically. Yes, right oh, okay. arm, which is the cannon. Okay, nice. Oh, that's handy. Um, and what was the other hit? The body. Body. Okay, 3d6 plus nine. You're after 21. Ooh. Mm, you work that out, it's 11, 18. 20, isn't it, no? 9 plus that lot? 9, 11, yeah, 20, so not quite. No, oh, no penetration on no the, penetration on the, on the body. body, nice, okay, still in the game. Is that shooting done, uh, no hand-to-hand -hand combat, too far apart at the moment. Uh, on to psychics? Yes. Psychic phase, okay, there's two psychers on the table. So 1d6 each is the recommended, let's see what the warp flux is. 8, okay. So deal away, Steve. So one, oh, two each. Right, so is that the four? And that's four each. FDA. Okay, now um, I have done a video on Orc Psychic powers and how, how weird and wonderful they are, so go and check that out if you're not sure. But basically my weird boy's got a wild power of four from all the Orcs around him. So he'll get four for the Warg plus an additional one for getting four, so that's five cards. One. Two, three, 
four, five. That's almost half the deck. <laughs> okay. So uh, the problem is now I have to roll to see if the the weird boy can control that amount of power. So it's a D six plus his mastery level, and you have to get uh, over. over the cards I've just drawn from the wild. Yes. So five. Yeah. Okay. So I've got to get six. Jeez. This plus two. Yeah. Ye you know nope. five. So okay, I failed the wag, so I might have to go and roll on the headbangers table, which I'm pretty sure I do. Except I have the weird boy staff, which allows me to re-roll that. Yes, I got that. Thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, right. Let's uh, get the headbangers up and see what happens. <laughs> Steve's got the headbangers table. Um, he's assured me he's not going to use an orc voice. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Let's roll and see what I get, and I know exactly what it is. Three, what are we doing, Steve? Three. I forgot. The weird boy suffers a temporary brainstorm and forgets one of his psychic powers for the rest of the game. Your opponent picks a psychic power at random from your hand because he's busy trying to remember what you was doing. Okay, then. At least he's still alive. Yeah. Okay, so that power's okay, so still So that's on. my um, weird boy out of the uh, game for this this phase. Um, I can still nullify and use special warp cards, uh, but I can't actually cast powers. So over to Steve, your turn. Yep. So I am going to cast Salamander for th two force cards. It's a line attack. It's 5d6 inches away from him. So I'm going to go towards that Dreadnought and the Banner Bearer. Okay, which one's your... Oh, your library no, there. Bing. Yeah, right okay. there. So towards this Dreadnought. No, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, you know, you should be able to miss that Space Marine. Yeah, yeah. no problem. Um, yeah, 5d6 inches. It does strength 5 hits on anyone who crosses the line. Okay, so a roll for your distance. 2, 5d6... Cool. So that's 10, 16, 19 inches. Right. Uh, so no, it's just going to put his hat to that. Get that <laughs> oh, in. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> uh, so we take the strength five hit. Uh, toughness three? Oh, uh, yeah. So it's so a twos, twos to wound. To wound. Yep, yeah, he's wounded. Uh, no armor save, he's no. gone here, just take him off for us. Lovely, okay, well, nearly got there. At least yep. I know you'll be in range next turn. Yep. Um, right over to me, again, not a lot I can do. No. So back to you, any powers? Uh, no, I'm just gonna store force card in my force rod. Nice. Um, and that's it. Okay, so that's the end of the orc psychic phase. Space Marines are done, so psychic phase Finished. Yep, over. Uh, no rousing or rallying. So end of your first orc turn. Lovely. Steve, your movement done. What have you done? Right, so starting on the left, uh, well, I'll start with the assault marines. Uh, they were delayed, so they ran on from the edge. They can't use their jetpacks. I did uh, jump pack the captain over, he deviated an inch towards the trees. Got ya. But otherwise he didn't hear anything so he's fine. These marines moved up, they didn't run so they can fire. Uh, the chaplain's part of the squad, the other characters aren't, I just moved them up with them. Got ya. Uh, Dreadnought walked around uh, just to start getting close to the other Dreadnoughts. The tech marine has run so he can attempt a repair at the end of the turn. These haven't moved because Space Marines have a special rule called Rapid Fire. If they yeah. don't move, they can fire their bolt guns, bolt pistols and storm bolters. But not the heavy bolts. Yeah, twice, don't they? Get yeah. There twice, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. And you're not doing anything with your infiltrators yet? They're still hidden away somewhere? Yep. Okay, that's the end of your it. movement. On to your uh, shooting. shooting. Okay, Space Marine first turn shooting. What's happening, Steve? Right, so this squad's going to fire into the Gretchen. Okay, We've got nice. Four bolt guns rapid firing, so eight bolt gun shots and one heavy bolt to shot. Okay. We're going to use a different dice for the bolt gun? Heavy yeah, bolt yeah. Okay. the heavy bolt is in red. Uh, they're veterans, so they hit on twos. Uh, so that's two bolt gun misses. Okay. And then... Yeah, put, uh, the, put the red aside for now. Yeah. That's it. And then... Um, strength. Threes to wound. Yes, threes to wound. Ooh, so really? four okay, dead. Four dead. Now work out your uh, heavy bolter. So I think it's one. It's, you've hit. So two sustained fire dice. Thank you. Oh, the dreaded jam. Yep. So you've got two at uh, twos to wound. 
Okay, so what's that in total? Six dead. Six dead. Okay, two, four, six. We'll take them off. Okay, so put your jam counter next to your heavy bowler. That'll mm -hmm. take a, a turn to clear. Um, and that's a leadership test for the Gretchen, or is it? Six yet, yeah, so over 25%. Yeah, um, I can do it off the Warlord's uh, leadership because he's within uh, 10 inches or 12 inches of them. Um, and I've got the banner, the army banner there, which allow them to re-roll if they fail. So the Gretchen are rolling. Eight, so that's passed off the uh, war boss. Okay, cool. they're still in the fight. Any more shooting? Oh yeah, um, we'll do him in a minute. We'll keep going on the Gretchen for now. So this squad here is going to fire into the Gretchen. That's okay. four bolters and one plasma gun. Oh okay, so just mark red uh, red die for the plasma. Yep. Uh, so it's twos again to hit. Uh, want me to re-roll? Yeah, yeah, re-roll the red. There you go. Okay, that's a hit. Um, it's one, oh no, we'll do the red in a minute, so threes to wound, or we'll kill in this case. Oh, oh, great, one wound. One wound. Okay, one dice for the plasma gun. Sustain fire die, yeah. Yeah, so one. one so it's just a one. Uh, twos to wound. Yeah. So what's that, another? Th another three dead. Three dead. Okay. Okay, but no break test, you only one break test per turn. Okay, so now uh, last but not least. Last but not least, the Dreadnought is going to fire into that Dreadnought at the front. Okay, yeah, so choosing the target rules, ignoring the Gretchen screen, you can distinguish between infantry and vehicles. So straight into the Dreadnought. Um, that's going to be a twos to hit, I should think. Yeah, but first the dreaded four plus oh, the damage. Oh, see if you can use the arm. Yeah, no, he's all okay, right today. He's in the game. So one dice, yeah. uh, hitting on twos. Nope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, any more? Any more for any more? Nope, that's it, it's the end of my shooting phase. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so end of your shooting, no hand to hand no combat? No hand to hand combat, so straight on to psychic phase. Okay, uh, your turn, so you roll the dice, sir. Yep, still two. Uh, seven, starting okay, with me. Okay, yeah, dealing with you. So, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Okay, I've still got my horrific wild. So um, plus five still. Uh, yes. <laughs> so one, two, three, four, five. Oh dear. There, you go. there we go. Right. Let's see if I can control that. It's exactly the same as last time, isn't it? Yeah. I need a four. Four plus. Four. Yeah. Come on. Nope. Oh. Come weird, on. weird boy staff reroll. No. Oh crikey! Right. Um. Ed Banger's table. Yeah. Three. Uh, same again, forgot, forgets the power, oh. can't do it. You've only got one left. It was, a, forget the power for the rest of the game. game. It was, well, there we are. There you go, yeah. my yeah. random power, power. taken. <laughs> well, my weird boy's forgotten all of his powers. Yeah. Um, what a good lad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, round and rally, none of that, because um, mm. we've got no broken troops. Nah. So it's on to Orc's turn. No, oh, no, no, no sorry. Got, oh, sorry, I was just phase. trying to get away with that. Yeah, yeah. that's all right, yeah, no, it's fine. <laughs> Just because you've got no cycle. <laughs> yeah, um, doesn't mean we all have no cycle. Exactly. Um, right, okay. Back to my cards. There we go. I can't got... salamander. Oh, I guess I could. I could try and get it, I can get it through them. Line of sight. Oh yeah, because it is just a straight line. Yeah, it's like... Um, there is some Q&A saying that it should be about the width of a tape measure. You know, if, if, if something oh, says like... a straight line. But I think we'll be all right. How many force cards is that? That's two. Okay, it's so the two force cards. Yeah. Put those on the discard. Uh, yeah, do it now. I will attempt to nullify using my many nullify cards. We're both equal level, so yeah. four plus, is it? Yeah, yeah, four plus. Yeah, okay, nullified. That's all right, I'm gonna use my other psychic power, uh, the quickening. Okay, oh, that's a good one. I'll try and nullify that again. Yeah, so that's another two. Four plus. Yep. No. Nope. Okay, that goes ahead. Okay, so your last power. Uh, it's quickening. Okay. Uh, I'm just cast it on my tech marine. It doubles their movement, initiative, and attacks. Oh, okay, nice. Yes. Um, did I try and nullify that? You did try. And oh, okay. That. <laughs> Damn. And that's it for my psychic phase. Okay, that power's in play. Um, yes. Yeah, you can just leave it on the board edge, so yeah. you know. 
Um, end of Psychics. End of Psychics. Rowing and Rallying, and again. Yep. Uh, end of Space Moves Turn 1. Not quite. I'm going to do my repair on my Dreadnought. Oh, end of, at the end of the turn. End of the turn. Nice. Okay, so we've got a Tech Marine there, hidden behind the Dreadnought. Yep. So what's, it, what's he need? So it's a 5 plus, basically. Oh, and he repairs the damage. And he repairs the damage. Nice. Nope. Oh. And I think that means it can't be repaired. Oh, so one attempt? Uh, yeah, so on a th uh, one or two, it can't be repaired. On a three or four, it's not repaired this turn, and five and six. Ah, nice. Okay. So now that's in. Space Marine turn one, uh, Orcs turn two. two. Turn two movement complete. We've got uh, the Gretchen of Run. The Knob Smobbers run, uh, pretty much everyone's run, except for the Dreadnoughts that have just moved their normal six. Uh, I'll put the weird boy out here, out of the way. Um, the Scorchers have accelerated to combat speed over there. Um, that's pretty much me done. So I may as well go for the f shooting phase. Um, and same again, I think I'm gonna put the three orc Dreadnoughts Laz cannons into the Space Marine Dreadnought. So let's give that a go. Um, we're looking at three pluses. Yep. Three hits. Oh dear. Right, locations. One and two threes. I believe that is one legs and two right arms. Okay. So let's go for the leg. 3d6 plus nine. Uh, uh, 19. Uh, nope. Oh, nice. Uh, and the arm. Yep, this is this is a 19. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. 20... 20 something. something. Okay, so that's penetrated the arm. Roll for damage. Uh, arm is torn from Dreadnought's body. Any weapons mounted on the arm are destroyed and the attack characteristic is reduced by one point. Oh, so that's its left arm. Uh, right arm. Oh, that's right the one arm. that was jamming. Ah, uh, this old okay. okay, and the same again. Oh, no, because it's destroyed now. Yeah. There's two hits on that, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so that's that done. Okay, so we ripped an arm off Space Marine Dreadnought. Um, we do have some heavy bolters to fire, which I completely forgot to fire last <laughs> turn. Let's go for... This Dreadnought into that squad, this Dreadnought into that squad, and this Dreadnought um, da, 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 into that squad as well. All right, cool. Okay, so two over to the right. Same again, threes to hit. Yep. Two hits. Okay, first uh, heavy bowler, a jam and a two. Strength five, toughness fours, yep. threes to wound. One wound on a minus two save modifier for heavy bolter. Yeah. So you're five or six. Five or six. Okay, so one marine's made it, nice. <laughs> yeah. uh, so the second heavy bolter, because they both hit, didn't they? Yep. yep. Okay, I'll roll that again. Ooh, oh, five. That's a bit better. Uh, threes to wound. Four wounds, so four, five or sixes. Uh, four, uh, oh no, oh, uh, four, five. five or six. Oh, four, I see what you mean, yeah, sorry, yeah. Um, yeah, four, four, four dash <laughs> on that flank. Uh, I just pick from anywhere? Yeah. Yeah. Keep the plasma gun. <laughs> Fair enough. We could randomise shots, obviously, amongst them, but I'm not fussed, that's fine. Okay, keep, keep the plasma gun. Um, okay, and that was a jam token, we'll put that on a minute. Uh, and the last one over in there, let's give that a go. Three's to hit. It's a hit. Two sustained fire dice. Three. Three's to wound. Yep. Ooh, a lot better. Right, so one save of five or six. Oh, yeah. nicely done. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty much the orc shooting done. Mm-hmm. Um, Morale on that squad. Oh yeah, instant break test. Um, yeah. Army commanders, not within uh, no. 12. Your chaplain counts for re-rolls, doesn't he? Yeah, it's like your banner. Yeah. So, um, what's it, an eight for a Space Marine? Nine for veterans. Oh, veterans. Uh, he's okay, fine. so he's passed, no problem. Classic Space Marine. 
Okay, um, so brake test sorted, shooting done, no hand to hand. Psychics. On to my psychic phase. Okay, so on to the psychic phase, my turn. Although my weird boy's got no psychic powers left. Four. One, two, three. Okay, and we've measured him and he's uh, not within any uh, distance of the orc, so he doesn't get any additional powers for the warg. Not that it matters. Nope. Okay. Right, so it's my turn, nothing I can do. On to you. Uh, yeah, I'm not doing that. And I don't think I have any. Oh, yes I do. I will be casting Salamander with two force cards. Nice. Right, I've got a nullify, which I'm going to use. Yep. Four plus. Oh, no. no. So, should we go into this one? Five d six inches. Uh, so ten, fifteen, sixteen inches. So I'm probably. Okay, from your librarian there. Librarian. You know what? It might make it. I'm going to go for the... Oh, no, just to that boy. Oh, oh trying to go for the boss. Yeah, yeah just nice. in case. Uh, so it's just one. One hit. Uh, strength five. Uh, three to wound. Three to wound. Yep, it's wounded. Okay, and that's um, gone. Minus two. Just remove him. Yeah. Cool. Okay, psychic phase done. Uh, again, no yeah. routing and rallying. Uh, rallying. Everyone's good. Uh, Space Marine turn two. Yeah. The Space Marines turn two, movement complete. What have you done, Steve? Right, so these guys have run up the left flank, or my okay, left flank. Okay, not jumped yet, not, not fancy jumped. that, no, no. okay. No, I'll come out. I still haven't revealed the infiltrators. I'm gonna hold on one more turn. Oh yeah, God knows where they are. Yep, I have moved these guys up the left, um, trying to screen a little bit with this terrain and my characters. Uh, Dreadnought has run up um, to try and contest the objective next turn if he lives. Uh, the apothecary stayed where he is. He can revive on uh, the end of his combat phase. Oh, those marines from last phase, yep. yeah. Uh, so I'll try that. Uh, this uh, I declared Overwatch at the beginning of my movement phase. He's turned around and to face. Oh, okay. Waiting for the scorchers. Exactly. He's got a combi plasma and a target. Uh, he should be should all right. Should be okay. Yeah. And these guys haven't moved to get their use of their rapid fire. Okay, excellent. So just to clarify, the dreadnought he only moved six, though, didn't it? So he didn't run. It just didn't moved. Run. Normal yeah. move. Normal okay. move. So he's gonna. Does he have any weapons left to fire? Yeah, he's got a flamer on his left fist. Ah, nice. Okay. So yeah, gonna start with the shooting phase. Start with the heavy flamer. Template from the base, I'm gonna angle it that way Ooh. to catch these four Gretchen. Yeah, okay, just a normal flamer. Yeah. It's, uh, a, it's only a, I'd say those three no problem, four plus on this one here. Yeah, no problem, I'll start with the four plus then. Yeah, uh, yeah. so four in, um, flamer strength four, toughness three, threes to three's wound. To wound. Uh, nice, all dead. All dead. Uh, uh, let me take a break test for them again. Again, we should be okay. We've got this, the standard and the um, war, Orc Warlord, Orc Boss. Yeah, they've passed, no problem. Excellent. Right, um, you know what? I'm going to shoot the... I really don't want to, but I'm going to shoot the plasma gun into the Gretchen. Gotcha, just a thin amount of it. Yeah, see if we can get, make use of that rapid fire on something better. So, um, two plus to hit. Hit, no one sustain fire dice. Oh, one, just one, just the one hit, two to the wound. Yeah, one he's gone. completely obliterated. And he's recharging, I'll get the counter later. Yep, yeah, we'll put that on in a bit. Um, they only moved, so they're going to shoot bolt pistols into uh, those Gretchen there. Got yeah. Uh, so I'll start with the librarian. So it's just twos all round, isn't it? Yeah, it's it? just twos. Uh, that's a, that was the it's four. A, it's a hit. Hit. One it's dead. Wound, one dead, and the chaplain. Hit. No, no room. It's <laughs> typical. That's, that's what we like to see. <laughs> um, so, didn't thin them out, unfortunately, but I'll have to do all the rapid fire into the Gretchen. 
these four marines. So eight shots. So who's to hit? That's six. Uh, three's to wound. Uh, so five are dead. Okay, um, we'll just say with because you've got line of sight blocks there, but mm. definitely, definitely, and the one on the end, definitely. So let's just, yeah. Yeah. Nice, yeah. that's wiped out that unit. Finally getting somewhere. Good old uh, Gretchen screen doing its job. Exactly. Uh, I think that's the end of my shooting phase. Okay, so no hand to hand as yet. On to psychic. Do you want to roll straight into that? Yeah, yeah let's keep going. Go. Okay, so uh, two psychers again. That's it, seven. seven. Uh, so it's your turn, so deal with yourself first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ah, seven. That's the end of the deck. Of the deck. Nice. Okay, obviously I can't do anything. Um, well, I haven't got any powers. I can do anything, but I do stuff, but I haven't got any powers. I am going to just take away quickening. I can dismiss it instead of casting a power. Excellent. And I'm going to store my one force card. Ah, okay. That's why. And that's the end of my psychic phase. Excellent. Right. The only thing I could do is energy drain uh, to get rid of that force card in your soul. Oh. So I'm going to play energy drain and wipe the board of psychic powers. Excellent. Right. Um, okay. Um, oh. So end of Space Marine turn two. Uh, sorry, I should have revived at end of combat. Oh, okay, yeah, so go on then. So five or six, I get it. So it's because it's med pack, isn't it? Med pack, yep. Yeah. Yeah, nice, so back. you actually get a Marine back. Uh, I will bring back the Sergeant, just why, because the stats would, yeah. are better. Better kit. Okay, so that's it. No routing and rallying, because your Space Marines are fine. Uh, that's it, all turn three. Yes. Nice. Okay, so walk movement complete. Uh, everyone's moved up four. Uh, the Gretchens are going to fire. Dreadnought has charged into the Space Marine Dreadnought. The other two have just moved. Everyone's just moved normally, uh, securing the objective. The Scorchers have gone around the back there. You've interrupted the Scorchers' movement. Yeah, I'm going to fire Overwatch from the Tech Marine. Uh, firing both barrels of his combi plasma. Plasma bolter, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. plasma bolter. Okay, so we've worked out you've got a minus one for firing on Overwatch from targets appearing from cover. Um, you have a minus one for moving over 10 inches. Uh, and I have a plus one for a targeter. Okay, that cancels one out. Plus one for close range. Oh, you're in close range, yeah. Yep, and a minus one for um, firing both Oh, you're firing both the bolter and the, and the plasma. So right, the great. black is the bolter, the red is the plasma. Again. Yes, so uh, both hits. hit. Okay, let's... Um, plasma first. Uh, just roll your sustained fire dice for that, yeah. Yeah, so... Plasma, I'll get this up ready. Uh, three. Nice. So you've got a total of four hits, one's a bowl of three a plasma. Now, I'll, you can distribute them at this time. Do you want to distribute them between the two vehicles? Yeah, what I'll do is I'll do two plasma on the first, I'll do a plasma and a bolter on the second. Gotcha. Okay, so roll for locations uh, for yeah. the first. So two plasma shots, six and a four. Okay, so a six is the fuel tank, Excellent. and a four is the scorcher itself. Okay, so my uh, pen is just D6 plus seven. Um, what's that for the plasma? Yeah. And these are both plasma. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, the fuel tank is 12, and the scorcher itself is 10. So okay. which one do you want to go for? Uh, let's do the fuel tank first. Okay, so 12. 12. So this plus seven. Uh, 12. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> Nicely done. Okay, roll for damage. Uh, four. Crikey. F the fuel explodes, throwing the scorcher and killing the crew. <laughs> Any models within 2d6 of the vehicle are caught in the explosion uh -huh. and suffer damage exactly as if they were hit from a heavy flamer. Love it. All that, right. That's 2d6. Yeah, okay, well, let's hope I have more We want to we want load. Okay, now what? No, let's uh, move on to. We'll work that out in a second. All right, you sure? Your other hits on the other Scorcher. All right, so let's do plasma, the plasma shot then on the other one. 
Uh, that's a four on the... That's Scorcher itself. Okay, uh, so D6 plus seven armor pen, uh, 13. That's 10, that's three, roll for the Scorcher table. Uh, three on the Scorcher. The Scorcher controls the damage, making it difficult to control. Roll D6 to the start of each of the Scorcher's movement phase. On a four, five, six, the driver is able to control the vehicle normally. Okay. On a one, two, or three, it goes out of control. Okay. So that's not too bad. Um, and your second shot is the bolt gun. Bolt, bolt gun. See what location you got. Three. Uh, to Scorcher again, so you need a six, really. No. no. Okay, bounced off. Not bad at all, but the chances are that second one's not going to make it anyway. Yes. Um... So, 2d6 inches. Yeah, 2d6 for your blast uh, radius. I'll just do it here. Yeah, yeah, from the centre of that. Uh, so, I got an 8. Grab your tape measure. And on the other side. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> oh, it's bad. <laughs> so that's um, off from the edge. That's the entire Marine squad. Uh, just, just out. Just out. That means just out and the, and and the, the scorcher. Oh, the scorcher. Right, well, let's work out the scorcher first. Uh, um, so we might actually get rid of that once and for all. Yeah. Okay, so it's been hit by a heavy flamer. Yeah. So um, because heavy flamers don't have a center to their blast marker, you roll for four plus for all locations. Cool. So driver, four plus. No. no. Uh, turret. No. No. Uh, scorcher itself. No. No, and fuel tank. No. no. Okay, so nothing happened nothing. to that. It come, come through. Um, so now it's just your poor old Marines. <laughs> uh, it's a five. Uh, it's a heavy flamer as well. What's that on the chart? That's about strength seven. Uh, no, heavy flamer strength five. Oh, okay. Sorry. That's all right. Uh, so I just... I can shoot in the tent. I'm rolling against my own troops. Um, that's, that's where Stephen Luck comes in <laughs> handy. Um, so five versus four is... Threes. Threes. So, so two wounds, uh, minus save, heavy flamer. Uh, minus three. Oh, so sixes. Sixes. No. No, so you've lost two guys. Um, and the guys that were hit but not wounded, that was three of them, wasn't there? Yeah. Four plus, they're on fire. Okay, so... Uh, two of them are on fire. Okay. Totally um, terrible. <laughs> yeah. Right, remove your casualties. Uh... If you want to keep the heavy bolt, then we can always distribute them randomly. Uh, I do, yeah, so should I... Um, um, yeah, what we'll do is roll a d6 ignoring six, and okay. left to right. Alright, uh, I'll do that here. So, oh, damn it. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Either way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, he's gone. He's gone. Okay, and what the other two, two of those three are on fire. Yeah. So we'll put tokens there in a second. Yeah. Okay. Right. That's <laughs> any, any more? Any more? No, that was my movement, wasn't it? So that was your movement. So should I take this off? Uh, that one take off, please. Yeah. <laughs> and we've, we've checked to see if that one goes out of control in the next phase. Okay, so on to shooting. We'll start with the Gretchen here using blunderbusses. It's within six, six inches, so it's an automatic hit. Um, let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I'll just distribute them evenly amongst those uh, characters. Yeah. Six, seven, it's strength three. Um, Dead toughness. Oh, They might be tough. Yeah, the characters five. are going to be a lot tougher, aren't they? Yeah, so... Obviously the target, the, the characters can be targeted because they're the nearest. Um, um, the chaplain's four, the librarian's five. Okay, and the marine's four, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we've got seven. Let's see which one uh, gets three shots on him. So, one, two, Marine. Okay. Yeah. Three, four, five, six. It's the Librarian. We got that. So the li Librarian's got three hits on him. Okay, let's go for the Space Marine. It's what, five or six to wound? Uh, yep. Okay, five or six to wound the Marine. Nope, nothing there. He's fine. Uh, the Librarian's got three against him. That's sixes. Nope. No, <laughs> absolutely fine. And the Chaplain. Oh, right. Well, well, well. <laughs> at least the Gretchen's got to take part, didn't they? I mean, yeah. That's the main thing. Um, okay, we've got the Dreadnoughts. Hopefully that's going to be a little, a little more dangerous. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put that Laz Cannon into that Marine, just um, to get rid of him. I'm just going to let you use the shot on him. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> oh, it's a hit. Mm -hmm. Two's to wound. Zap, yeah, vaporized he's... Marine. Don't need no need to recharge. Uh, and now I'm going to put the heavy bolter into those two characters. That's right. 
Okay, so that's uh, going to be a da, 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 threes to hit. Oh, classic orc dreadnought. Miss. Missed point blank. Right, the other dreadnought on the left flank. Um, I'm going to aim at your probably your two that aren't on fire. I'd say there, uh, the tech marine and the other marine. Um, are they? They're not the same squad, are they? No. Okay, so I will have to sort of aim at the squad. I will go for the heavy bolter into those three marines. Yeah. Roll to hit, threes to hit. It's nope. a miss, good, classic orcs. Yeah. I thought I got too many hits at the beginning. Yeah, in the yeah, first turn, I used them all up. Okay, uh, Laz Cannon at the... Um, I can't really differentiate between the tech marine I can't pick him out um, so we could randomise it one to three the marine four five six the tech marine uh, yeah sure because he's within two inches of um, yeah of infantry models here we go <sighs> that's it that's a tech marine yeah cool so I'm going to malfunction oh I knew you had something up your sleeve yeah okay so one of your strategy cards malfunction what happens there uh, so um, if the mount, uh, if a weapon is mounted on a vehicle uh, the weapon is destroyed nice um, and a roll on the vehicle damage chart to see what effect the explosion has so that's the last cannon gone that's the last cannon gone gone nice and then we're going to roll on the chart fair enough let's get that right get off your roll Okay, just D6, yeah? Yeah, it counts as an arm, basically. Two. Two. Any weapons mounted on that arm are jammed or partially damaged and can only be used if you first roll a four plus. Okay. Um, so... Oh, so that you just rolled on the arm table? Uh, weapon... Uh, yeah, you just roll on the arm table. It doesn't okay. automatically destroy it. Sorry. Uh, okay. So that's a four plus now on the la on the last cannon. Yeah, a bit yeah. like what I had yeah, on the dreadnought. All right, okay, right. So that's um, pretty much all my shooting done. I think I won't bother with the orc boys trying to get get some bolt pistol shots in there. Hand to hand combat. Yes. Okay, so orc dreadnought versus space marine dreadnought. Uh, let's roll hand to hand combat. Um, I have done a hand to hand combat video, uh, which I'll link in if you guys want to watch that. Um, I've got four attacks. Weapon skill five, I charge, that's weapon skill six. Here we go. Nice, critical hit. So that is um, 12 plus an extra one for the critical hit. So that's 13 good. in total. Cool, so I now have two attacks because I lost an arm. I am just weapon skill six. So I am five, uh, 11, so two Ooh. hits. So okay, two hits from the Dreadnought. Um, I've got power claws, which are D6 plus D20 plus 8. So pretty good armor penetration yes. there. Um, let's go for... I think in hand-hand combat you can choose locations. But because we're both vehicles... Yeah. Because if I was infantry attacking you, I could choose a location. But because yeah. I'm a vehicle attacking you, let's just see where they hit. Yeah, Basically, um, since we're both waiting on each other. Um, so I've got two hits. Let's go for locations. Six and a one. All right, so it's of the legs and the body. Okay, so let's go for the body first. Okay, so D6 plus D20 plus eight. Here we go, arm penetration. Not bad. Um, 13, 21. 21, just on the body. Oh, is it 21? It's 21. Oh, okay. Dreadnought body damage roll. Five. Oh. Oh. Space Marine controlling the Dreadnought is slain. The Dreadnought staggers D3 inches in a random direction, colliding with anything moved into, then collapses. Oh, like, right. get your arrow dice and yeah. um, D3. Hopefully it goes forward, eh? Oh, hit, but I take it we go to the back. Yeah, on the little arrow. arrow. So it goes three inches backwards, um, but I don't think it's going to hit anyone. No, it's not going to hit anyone, but it comes to what is destroyed, is it? Yeah. Okay, so just, just take it off. Okay, um, I think that's pretty much my hand to hand. Yeah. Uh, I suppose uh, Dreadnought would get a follow up move, but I'll, I'll leave it there, that's fine. Yeah. Um, dun, 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 end of uh, Orc Psychic Phase. Orc Psychic Phase. Fair, okay, let's get straight over to that. I'll, I'll roll my turn, although it's pointless because my weird boy's lost all his powers. Not point. Six. Right. 
start with you. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well I can't do anything, over to you. All right, we know the dreaded card is back in the deck. <laughs> so let's roll the dice. Um, I'm going to Salamander, two force cards. Okay, then I'm going to attempt to nullify. Cool. My one nullify card? No. Nope. Cool, so 5d6 inches. Ugh. <laughs> uh, to I'm just going to borrow that one because that one is. Uh, oh, I, know, I see what you're doing here. Yeah, well, you. Straight for my. Uh, no, I'm going for the pain boy. Oh, okay. 13 inches. I'll just catch him. Nice. And it's method to my madness. Fair enough. Um, so it's a strength 5 hit, automatic hit, toughness. Of a pain boy's 4. So uh, threes. And he's wounded. So minus two armor. Yeah, I didn't get him any armor or anything, so he's just one wound. That's it. Cool. Pain boy gone. He's blatted. Um, that's it for my side. Okay, so it's over. Yep, that's me done. Nothing to do. Okay, so no routing and rallying. Gretchen all wiped out. No one else has really taken a hit. Pain boy was a character, so it didn't really matter. Um, end of all turn three. We didn't do morale. All these marines. Instant break test. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Shoot it out quickly. Yeah, yeah. Do it out of phase as well. Uh oh, I, mean, I can't fail because they're at their leadership nine, so I would never roll over on a three. Off the army commander. No, it's the veterans. Oh, veterans, of course. Okay, cool. So that's it. End of all. Turn three. Space marines. Turn three. Yes. Lovely. Okay, so Space Marines movement turn three. Turn three, yeah. Yeah, okay, what did you do? So, uh, starting over here, my scouts have come out of hiding. Okay, they were in infiltration in this wood, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so they've moved out. Um, I declared lots of charges. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That Space Marine sergeant, uh, the librarian, the chaplain, the assault squad, and my captain uh, all declared charges and engaged the grubs. Okay, so what we've got here is the jump from here over there, jumped in and then deviated, yeah? yeah. And ended up all over the shop yeah. in hand-hand -hand combat, yeah. that's good. Um, the apothecary has moved up to where the plasma guy died, or thereabouts, and I hope to revive him. Yeah, got ya. Um, these guys have just turned around, hopefully gonna rapid fire the rider, or sorry, the driver of the- Yeah, just to wipe out that last one. And they're on fire, so they can't do yeah, anything. That's what they can do, okay. Yep, and that is my movement phase. Okay. Should we go right. straight to shooting? Oh uh, yeah, if you're, uh, you're, especially if you haven't got much, have you? So, no. um, I'll do him first. I'll just do two shots on the Scorcher. It's Blizzard, it's Blizzard skill five. Mm -hmm. What are the minuses at the moment? Is it still? Uh, well, it's not Overwatch shot this time. Yeah. Uh, and it's just the movement. His last movement was over ten, so, so it's a minus, minus one. So okay. you're getting plus one for close range for bolt guns anyway. Yeah. So it's just a standard. Oh, I can skill. do it both then. So just two pluses on the reds. Three pluses on the blacks. Oh, okay. So three hits. Uh, roll for location. You want one for tar uh, for yeah. driver? Yeah. yeah. Nice. Um, we'll do that first, shall we? Yeah. So toughness four, fours to wound. Yep. Yeah, only a six, minus one. Driver's yep. dead. Driver's dead. You yeah. want to work out the ones on the vehicles? Uh, I, they're only going to get tens. Uh, I roll them now. If you get sixes, then they've penetrated. No. no. Okay, so it doesn't matter where you hit there. Yeah. It wouldn't matter. Okay, so that's the Scorcher definitely out of control next turn. Uh, yep, so moving on to the scouts. So we've got, they're going to fire into the war boss and the squad. Okay. Um, so because he's next to another infantry model, the shots will be randomised between the two of them. Yeah. His characters can't be picked out uh, specifically by a squad. Yeah. So uh, shall I roll the one on the squad separately then in this case? Because he definitely won't hit the war boss. Oh, no, no. We'll, we'll just randomise them between the two. Just, okay, do, it, cool. just do it that way. So um, your sergeant is a what? Sergeant is a... Uh, Two plus? Two the plus. targets are? Yeah, two plus. And what are the scouts? Are three plus. Three plus. Okay. Uh, oh, not bad. Stony one. So basically, one to three the boss, 
Four, five, six, the orc. Cool. Uh, three on oh, the boss. Oh, nice. One on the orc. Okay, okay. Okay, so three hits on the boss, one on the orc. Uh, the orc's got no armor save, it's a minus one yeah. for a needler. Okay, so the orc's a casualty, gone. And now the three on the boss. He's got a custom force field, but needlers don't use their strength. No, they also so massively wound. A custom force field would normally roll a d6 and minus it from the strength of the weapon. Um, a roll of a six stops the shot, but the, but the shield... Uh, shorts out yeah. so what we're going to say is sixes um, stop the shot but short it yeah. short the field out so let's see we'll roll each no yeah. so one's through yeah. one's one stopped and, and the shield's gone so that's there's two hits two hits and a strength three hit uh, and a strength three hit that's right toughness five so. uh, sixes to wound for the field shorting out yeah. no so two wounds from the needler um, with just normal armor save, he's got heavy armor. Yeah. Minus one. Yeah. So five or six. Cool. Two wounds saved on five or six. Oh, one oh. save. So one wound through to the orc war boss. Not bad. Yeah. Good attempt. But that that's field kind of didn't help. But uh, oh, heavy armor. It's all yeah. good. Uh, any more shooting? No, that's all the shooting now. Excellent. So hand hand combat. Yeah. Okay. So into the combat. Um, we just worked this out off camera because it, it, I've done a video on second edition of Hannah. Go and watch it. it, it it's a mess. It is a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. So we've done it off camera, but um, very successful assault by the Space yeah. Marines there and the captain. Uh, they took out most of the Gretchen and eight, uh, no, six of the eight knobs. Yeah. So that was pretty good. Both of those, the Gretchen and the knobs, passed their brake tests, and he's used his two inch follow up to either re-engage to help out other marines or to move into other positions. Um, anything else, Steve? Uh, I'm about to do the revive because end of combat on oh. the plasma gun Oh, that's guy. it, the medic there. Uh, he's moved up to where the plasma gun guy was. Uh, Let's uh, see if we can get a revive on that. So it's a five plus? No, no so he's okay. dead. He's dead and dead. Uh, anything else? No, we're just into the psychic phase. And it's space marine psychic phase. Turn Excellent. three, let's give it a go. So get around there. Roll for the warp flux. We're on a 10. Ten. Ooh, high roll. Right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so That's what we get. It's your turn first anyway. <laughs> Alright. Um cool, I'm only doing one thing then. Uh, I'm going to cast uh, the Salamander with Ultimate Force. Ah, nice. So your librarian there... Yeah, he's going to beam it through onto these two dreadnoughts. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough. Uh, so let's roll for range. I'll do 5d6 inches. Uh, not great, so 10, 15 inches. Oh, it might be enough. Should be enough. To cover them both. It should be able to catch. Yeah. Uh, you have to move it to get that first one a bit more. Bring it, um, you'd have to bring it more centre. Is that just over his base? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um, it's any any location touched. So, what would you have said there? What locations are actually touched by the beam? Uh, I'd say for this one, it would be the arm. Yeah. Uh, I don't think it even hit the leg. Uh, for this one... I'd say for all of them. Uh, arm and hull. Yeah. The lot, you reckon, for that one? For that okay. one. No so we just have to work out the armour penetration on that. What is it? Strength? Five. Any damage? Uh, no, I believe it's just damage one. Okay, so that's a D6 um, plus the strength. So the chances yeah. of actually getting through... Are not high. 11. I don't think you can penetrate anything on it. No, that's all right. We tried. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, um, your psychics, you want to do anything? Uh, no, have you got anything in play? Nope. No, oh, I did have energy drain, but I won't use that because it's pointless. Right, all done. Cool. Um, routing and rallying, no space marines, still good as ever. Oh, you can roll to see if the flames go out on your two space marines over there. Excellent. Uh, sixes, on a six, the flames go out. Nope. nope, they're still burning. So that means in the beginning of your turn, you're going to take a hit again. Okay. As, cool. it, as if they'd just been flamed. All right, that's fine. But that's done at the very beginning of your, of your turn. Okay. Cool. Um, all done? All done. Orcs, turn four. Yes, last turn. Lovely. Hi 
Okay, so orc movement. Um, I've declared a charge with the orc war boss into the captain to try and get this done. Yeah. Uh, sort of a, a definitive sort of end. Uh, out of control scorchers ended up there, still trundling along. Uh, weird boy is hiding here, just so try and deny some victory points. Scar boys and banner holding the center along with the three dreadnoughts. Uh, that's pretty much assured, I would hope, at this uh, point. Yeah. Um, and I'll just let these boys, you know, wrestle around there in hand-to-hand combat. Um, on to shooting. Yes. Okay, so... <clears throat> got my Dreadnought over here at your burning and alive Space Marine. I will fire the Laz Cannon at the Tech Marine first. All right, Just trying cool. to polish him off. Just double-check what he's got. Pack. No, he's not got a field, so... Okay, so this Dreadnought here against the Tech Marine. So, so this is the one that malfunctioned. Oh, okay. So this is the 4 plus. I need a 4 plus to use it. Yeah. No, so the Tech Marine's safe. I'll put the Heavy Bolt into the 3 Marines. Cool. 3 plus. And no, the old Orc's Ballistic Skill is back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, the one on the centre... He's jammed, and because he was in hand-to-hand -hand combat, he didn't get a chance to clear that jam. Yeah. So he'll just have the Laz nice Cannon. cannon. Um, let's try and polish that tech marine off, shall we? No. no. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay. Um, wow. <laughs> what, to, what to do? Uh, I guess the overkill, that was going to Laz Cannon and Heavy Bolter into, into that, uh, that group there. Um, in fact, I won't Heavy Bolter. Although I may as well. So that sergeant, yeah. Laz Cannon. It's a yeah. hit. Two's to wound. No. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Um, uh, I suppose I can give the heavy bolter a go and try and run it up, sustained fire, try and run it up to the librarian. Okay, so three's to hit. Yeah. Yeah, oh. or I'll let you have that one. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. I need it. Good old old dreadnoughts. <laughs> um, that's me, I think, or yeah. shooting. I can't see anything else. Uh, straight into hand-to-hand -hand combat. Yeah. Okay, so on to the, the big battle, the hand-to-hand -hand combat. I've got a weapon skill six. I charged weapon skill seven. Uh, three attacks, uh, plus I've got an axe and bolt pistol, so another attack for hand-to-hand -hand combat. Two hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons. Um, so let's go. Seven plus. Ooh. Not great. Um, Eleven in total. Right, so I'm very similar. I'm just weapon skill seven. I have two first combat weapons. So pretty much the same role. Oh. Ah, oh, you get. So I'm at I'm 13. 12. I'm at 13. So one hit on you. Uh, I've got a power axe in one hand. So what, single hand strength five? Yeah, strength five. Uh, toughness five, force to wound. Oh, wound. It's a wound. Uh, I've only got heavy armor. Is it minus two or minus it's three? It's minus two. Okay, so six save. No save. So um, how many did he take from the needlers? Uh, he took one. Oh, so if that other one would have got through, yeah. that would have been him. So he's on one wound. He's on, yeah. All war bosses on one wound. All right. Okay. Right, so that's... Oh, no, we've got a little bit of hand-to-hand -hand here. Um, yeah. Gretchen and the knobs. Oh, you've double-stacked them. Right, yeah. let's just roll for those now, then. So the knobs are on a weapon skill four. Cool, uh, Two attacks, one for hand -to -hand com uh, having two hand-to-hand -hand combat weapons. So I'll roll... Um, well, yeah, actually, you've got the multiple combat, so you can you can pick. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I'll start on the one uh, okay. on the outside. Yeah. Okay, so that gives me oh. eight. Mm, do I parry the four? I'm on seven. I will have to parry the four. Right, so it's a four, so that's eight. Eight. Okay, so one dink on you with a bolt pistol, strength four, toughness four. Yep. Force to wound, no wound. Okay, next combat. Second opponent on that orc. Okay, so you get plus one to weapon skill and an extra attack die. Excellent, thank you very much. Oh, and a one, fumble uh, for you. Uh, so I'm on six, ten, uh, eleven. So I'm on one? four nine with that so, five. Okay, so two hits for the chain sword. Falls to wound. Uh, two Nicely wins. done. Minus one, five or six save. Oh. Ew, snake eyes. Get He's off. out of there. Oh, okay, right. next combat. Just do a simple Gretchen fight. Oh crikey, here we go. Uh, yeah. 
A one. Um, <laughs> so <a> ten. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, which one was that? Yeah, yeah. This one here. Okay, he's gone. Uh, oh, another knob. Another knob. Okay. I'm sorry, swatch back. Come on, nine. Ooh, uh, I'll parry the five. But Ten got... with your fumble. Okay. With your fumble. Eight. Eight. I'm on six. Oh, two, so two hits. hits. Falls to wound. Uh, Again. One wound. Uh, minus one. No, you did. Be gone, wretched marine. Excellent. Oh, no. the old lead ones always falling over. Loving it. Right, yeah. swap him out for that plastic one. Oh, no. He's the good effort. sergeant. Good effort. Um, okay, so you get an extra attack and a plus one to your weapon skill. Yes. Let's go. Okay. Uh, seven. Uh, seven. Initiative? Four. Uh, three, so one hit on me. Cool. Uh, power sword. Oh, twos to wound, yeah, that would be, I think, or threes, probably three, something like that. But, yeah. Okay, um, minus two three. or three? Three? Uh, minus three, so yeah, no save for heavy armour. Yeah. Gone. And then two more Gretchen. Oh, just the two little Gretchen there. Let's see what we get. Uh, uh, nine. Okay, yeah, he's gone. Next one. Oh, that's better. Parry the six. Oh. <laughs> Five, oh, and a fumble. So, so I'm looking at uh, eight. And I'm looking at seven. Oh, here we go, this is it, <laughs> this is it. Uh, strength three. Two. Strength two for Gretchen. Yeah, uh, no weapons, um, toughness four. Oh, six. six is the wound, here we go. Oh, oh, get no. in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Die, Marines, scum. <laughs> oh. Any other ones dead? Okay, uh, well, I'm going to follow up into it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he's a heroic Gretchen. Right, if you want to do follow ups for any of those uh, Marines that fought, you've got these um, two here and that one there. Two inch follow up, anywhere uh, you like. Yeah. Let me just get my rusty tape. I'll just start moving them in. Oh, only the ones that fought. Oh, yeah. Uh, the ones that fought in hand in combat, so. so. Yeah, and those two can move two inches. Uh huh. Okay, all done. So that's all kind of hand combat done. Yeah. I'll just remove these uh, into psychics. Psychic phase, your psychics. Okay. Warp flux. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nicely done. All right, I can't do anything, so over to you. Um. Oh, I am going to cast. It's not within six inches. That's a shame. Okay, I'm gonna do. I'm going to do the salamander for two. Okay, I'm gonna attempt another fight. Awesome. Yes. That's no problem. Uh, I'm going to cast the quickening. Okay, I'm gonna attempt to nullify. No. So. So I'm putting it on uh, the sergeant. I'll cast quick in on your own sergeant, yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Right, uh, that's me out of cards. Anything, and you've done yours, haven't you? Yep. So that's hand-to-hand -hand combat done. Routing and rallying. Um, I think that's gonna be, oh, I forgot to do a break test for that Gretchen. Um, we'll now. do that now. Yeah, we've got the boss there and the banner, so he, he's fine, despite mm -hmm. being the only uh, surviving member of his squad. <laughs> yep. Uh, that's it. Yeah. End of Orc turn four. Yeah. Space Marines turn four. Last turn. Last turn. Okay, so Space Marines, turn four movement, yeah. uh, what have you done? So I charged the Assault Marines over here. Oh, yeah. first I started with the Sergeant to engage the oh, Walker. Oh yeah, placed this unengaged model, took care of the Dreadnought. And then I charged the Assault Marines over here to get some kill points. Right, all in mixed in there, and they've all deviated like last time and, and re-engaged. Yep, and then the characters have charged into the war boss to help Ah, Librarian Chaplain have gone in to help the Army Commander out. Yeah. Okay. Um, Ganging up on me. Yep. <laughs> uh, so it's time for shooting, my shooting. Okay, not much. Nope, just these two into the boys. Okay, let's go a uh, rapid fire. Oh no, you're using a combi, are you? Uh, or is it, is it recharged? It has recharged. I will use the combi actually. I'll start with the normal veteran. So two's to hit. 
Uh, two hits. Force to wound. Two wounds. Nice minus one, no armor save. So let's take them to. Oh no, let's take ones like that. Okay. All right. Um, Bolter. Uh, so uh, don't, you can't rapid fire when he does a combi weapon. Don't think. Uh, no, no. No. So um, both both would hit the same target, and then if you get any sustained fire hits, yeah. you can move them up to two inches. Okay. Or oh, I think it's four inches. No, I think it's two inches. No, no, four inches. Hey, no, yeah. two inches. No, yeah. God knows. Two. Anyway, <laughs> um, so the red will be the plasma, the black will be the bolter. Uh, yeah, both, both hits. hits. Uh, uh, sustained fire dice. Jam. Jam. So just your bolt hit, four plus the wound. Uh, no. No wounds. So they've come away with just two casualties there. Uh, did, did it no break test? Uh, nope. And um, these guys, you move these down here to just to try and get a shot on the weird wall oh, yeah. running out there, but it was out of range. Yeah, so... Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Anything else? No. That's it, so into hand-to-hand combat. Yeah. Okay, uh, what we'll do is we'll go through the squad combat, see where that gets us, and then we'll come back for the characters. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Okay, so we just went through some hand-to-hand combat there, Steve. What happened? So, basically, we wiped out... I can't remember how many models, but... A lot of the Scar Boys Yeah, there. a lot of the Scar Boys. Uh, they passed their break test. Yeah, they're all fine. He did kill the Gretchen. Yeah. Um, uh, this one, he didn't... He hit, but he can't hurt he the Dreadnought. He can't penetrate the Dreadnought, but he so, won the combat. Yep. And, and that just leaves us... With the characters. Your three characters. <laughs> My yep. Boss, okay. So, I'm going to start with the Chaplain. Of course you are. <laughs> Okay, four attacks for my Warboss weapon skill six. Cool. Let's it give it a go. Oh, fumble. No. It's two attacks for my chaplain. Uh, so I'm at uh, five, six, twelve, thirteen. And I am eleven. So you've got two 11. hits on me. Two with hits. Set grows a Sarcanum. Yes. Uh, so that is strength five. Uh, what's toughness five? So two. Force to wound. Force to wound. Yep. Two uh, wound. Minor save. Three. Oh, so no heavy arm. That's it. Yeah. Chaplin, no, Chaplin did it. Chaplin done it all. I started with him because it was the weakest. He <laughs> <laughs> did it by himself. Okay, uh, so there's no more hand to hand combat. They yeah. Obviously, those guys will get to follow up, but it's a bit pointless. Yeah. Um, End of the game? It's psychic phase. Psychic phase. Uh, do you want to do anything? His powers can't really hurt the Dreadnought. Uh, I can't hurt them without hurting my own guys, so no, I think we'll just leave it. Um, Rowan and Rallying, no. No. That's all good. End of it, okay. Okay. Good game, Steve. Nice. Thanks a lot. Thank Let's you. Uh, add up the victory points. And we'll come back. And see where we are. Yeah. Okay, so we've added up the victory points, and you got... I got 14. 14, and I got 9. Um, so that's a clear victory to the Space yeah. Marines. Yeah. It's rare for me, I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good game, I enjoyed yeah. it. A few mistakes, as always. Um, yeah. Anything you would have done differently? Uh, I did I did a classic mistake. I um, overkitted my characters. I really just needed the power axe, didn't need all the other gaff. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Could have just built the list better, but no, I think the plan for the most part worked out. Big flank, try to use the snipers. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Maybe crack grenades for your lower characters. Yeah, just do that bit of armor penetration. Um, yeah, as for me, well, I just forgot a few things. I didn't find the heavy bolts in the first turn, yeah. so that was a big mistake. Flamer down here. Yeah, even though the uh, scorcher was out of control, I could have the gunner was alive and could have fired the flamer as it was driving around. Um, but apart from that, just couldn't get over how devastating the assault marines were. No, I'd never used them before. No, no, just chewing through yeah. orc mob after orc mob. Yeah. Uh, even the knobs um, only slowed them down yeah. for a turn. Absolutely. So, yeah, good game. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to see any other battles or any other forces, just let me know in the comments, and uh, I'll see you soon.